Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, so I've done a video and I've posted it. I think it was yesterday actually. I've posted it uh today's what? Today's the 22nd. So I posted it on the 21st. Yeah, 21st of July 2021. Where where I talk about the, the there's a common shortage of water there's a common shortage of water and i've done a video i've done videos i think it's more than one i'm gonna find them when i find them i leave the link in the comment section before going further brothers and sisters please check the comment section you must always check the comment section on my videos it's very important okay just check the comment section so brothers and sisters i saw something and when i saw it this is coming out of the government's mouth okay um it's concerning the upcoming food shortage i've done videos concerning this that there's going to be a food shortage in the very very near future and i don't think that we're far from it i don't think that this event is like years and no no brothers and sisters this is this thing this food shortage is coming up now remember i told you in remember i told you in the water video that i did that there was no well there's water but it was a lot of water in this in the, in the supermarkets now yesterday i went um to get a few bits and bobs from the, from the supermarket and I didn't, I didn't pay any attention to it. I must say, I thought to myself, okay, they're probably, they're probably stocking the shelves for food. I didn't, it didn't click. And this is why you've got to be observant. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're going to look at the thing and think, oh, it's nothing. Learn to be observant. Because when, yesterday, when I saw, yesterday, which is the 21st of July, 2021, when I saw some of the shelves empty, in my local supermarket it didn't click it didn't click brothers and sisters because i think i was on a little bit of a rush you know to get what i get and to come out of the supermarket and it didn't click but when i came home brothers and sisters and i was settling down to go to bed something popped up and i began to read and it basically says this is the united kingdom it basically says that in the uk Many, not one and two, not a few, many customers are complaining because the shelves are empty. <laughs> and it just clicked on me and I said, my God, Father, that's it. That's what I saw yesterday in the supermarket. And the Lord is confirming it in what I, what the article that came up in front of my face. Many many supermarkets across the country the shelves are empty and they begun to say things like oh the reason why it's empty is because shortage shortage of lorry drivers that for some reason brothers and sisters the uk now has shortage of lorry drivers why is that that's that's never been a problem before But for some unknown reasons, shortage of lorry drivers. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I receive that. I, re I receive that. It just remind me of the, the three sixes, you know, when uh, they're going to ration food. And you can't get food unless you take the mark. So that's one reason they said, oh, that's the reason why. You know, for a few weeks, I didn't even know it was a few. Well, I should know because of water, really. But they say for a few weeks, a few weeks out, a week or something like that, the shortage of the shelves of being empty. And then they said, oh, well, you know, the food has been stuck in the depot or the food in the supermarket. It's been wasted and there's nobody to come and take it and all sorts of excuses. I find it as an excuse, brothers and sisters. That's that's just me personally, what I find with this old shortage of thing. But the shortage of food, it is coming. And what the Lord showed me, I'm going to leave those vision in the comment section. 
what the Lord showed me with the upcoming shortage of food. This is real. People, you need to get your little rice, your little flour, your little tin stuff in. I know money is tight. I know, I know, I know money is not. It's, it's tight. But just do your best. Try your best. This is not like Africa and the Caribbean where you grow your own stuff. Or you have a neighbor that's a banana tree and you can dig a little yam and stuff like that. In Babylon, it's different. Everything you got to buy in the shop. So the struggle is real. So this is confirmation what the Lord showed me in the supermarket when I went to get my few bits and pieces. And then as the article just came in front of my brothers and sisters, I wasn't even searching. That's a funny thing just popped up and it confirms so i'm going to link those visions that the lord showed me concerning the shortage of food because this thing is coming brothers and sisters we are entering into a new world things are not going to, people think that everything is going to go back to normal <laughs> and everything is going to be the same no this is it this is this 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 is their opportunity remember what's that president of america called he's part of the seven beast as well ronald reagan hmm. remember ronald reagan his part was to introduce the, the 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 new world and he talked about it but they couldn't implement it because they didn't have uh people they couldn't implement it because things weren't set up. People weren't, in them days, they wouldn't take certain things. Now, we're living in a, uh, a generation of vipers. This is a generation of Satan, so they accept anything. Tomorrow morning, if the Antichrist comes on the scene and say that he is Christ, they will believe him and they will worship him because the generation is ready for what the devil has to offer. They are, they are ready for it. So this is it, brothers and sisters. There's no turning back to, a no, to normality. You're, no, I can't talk about that. <laughs> I was going to say something. I have to back up really quickly. Um, so yes, brothers and sisters. So this, this food shortage is coming. And it's quite funny because in one of the videos that I saw with the food shortage, um, it's not what I saw, one of the vision, in one of the vision that I did, it was like winter time, something like that. But then again, it can come anytime. We are watching for August. Don't know. I'm not saying food shortage in August. That's not what I'm saying. Not at all. But there's some stuff that's still, I don't know. There's some things to happen in August. August is going to be a big month. So we're going to watch for August all over the world, whatever's happening, big. Not little tiny things, but big thing on global scale in August um, 2021 and see what, see what the Lord is saying, brothers and sisters. But I am telling you, this is coming. It is inevitable. It is inevitable means that it is 100% coming. Um, the food shortage is the food shortage is real. I'm just trying to remember one of the visions concerning the food shortage. Oh God, it's been such a long time. You got to watch it yourself, brothers and sisters. Normally, I kind of paraphrase what I saw in the vision, but I know that there was definitely food shortage. Um, shelves were empty. Um, you know and, and more things but i don't want to lie on myself so i normally say to people you need to watch the visions this is the season of the prophetic this is the season of the prophetic you remember i did that vision i did that video the other day concerning south africa some of the things that in the vision as fulfilled not the whole thing not the whole vision as fulfilled concerning south africa but surely some of the things that the lord showed me Concerning South Africa, some of it has been fulfilled. The weather in Europe, but the Lord showed me Europe uh, on the water. Or some places in Europe just been flooded. 
that has been fulfilled. Now, the, the coming food shortage, brothers and sisters, this is all a preparation. This is all a preparation. You see, Satan cannot rule a world that is doing great. He cannot do that because everything is going good. People are acknowledging the Lord, but it's not so. This world is, it's not so. And the enemy rules out of chaos. He has to create havoc, confusion, fear, and chaos. And then he comes in like the hero. That's what's happening, what you see, what's going on, brothers and sisters. But the food shortage is real. It's coming. Please go to my comment section and my description box for the link of these videos for you to watch and understand the times and the season that we are in. Hallelujah. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. 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 Let's say the benediction together. The benediction is uh, Jude chapter 1. We agree with the servant of the Most High, Yah, Brother Jude, how he described our King, the uncreated God. We agree with him. And um, if you know it out of your head, please say it with me. If you don't know it, don't worry. You'll learn it. If you've got your Bibles, please read along. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior. That's my son. <laughs> to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.